Hello and welcome to this short review of this BYD ETO 3 design. So this one is finished in the imperial red color. BYD is a Chinese automaker. They have been making cars for many years and actually in fourth quarter last year 2023 they were the most producing and selling EV in the the BYD ETO 3 is their mid-size SUV. So if we have a look at the design of the car, the looks might divide people, but I think it's a, a decent looking car. It's not a winner in the class, but it's definitely not the most ugly one. And I think for the money, uh, you actually get quite a lot of cars. These retail in Europe for around, uh, used around 25 to 30,000 euros, depending on the conditions of the car. And I think you get a lot of car for the money. It's a good size. You get LED headlights, you get the light bar in the back, you get a panoramic sunroof. And uh, once in a few seconds here, we'll go to the interior where you see quite a few options as well that you don't see on premium cars unless you check quite a few boxes. So let's have a look on the interior. <coughs> So the interior of the Atto 3 is definitely not everyone's taste. Um, it has a ice blue color uh, with the gray whitish design. So the car is styled or marketed towards uh, the youth or the younger people. So it should have kind of a wavy sporty design. So these are supposed to be like a muscle fiber and these are dumbbells uh, weights and they are supposed to represent. But overall you get everything you need in the car. If we look at the steering wheel here, you get the adaptive cruise control, you get regular cruise control, you get the possibility to flip the screen. A fun gimmick and not sure how much it's worth in everyday life and then of course the radio controls you get a digital cluster here where you can see that this car has done barely 10,000 kilometers and uh, you see some information about the tire pressure on the central navigation screen You'll have navigation, Spotify, DAB radio, Apple CarPlay, and the possibility for Android Auto as well, I see. There's some music and yeah, quite a few different things you can do on the screen here. If we look more into the center console, you'll have some more buttons here, some parking buttons, uh, auto start button for the car and the gear lever and the volume controls defroster and some different modes you can do for snow driving or economy driving you have a center armrest here with a decent sized cubby you have a charging pad here for your smartphone some funny looking door handles with some guitar strings here have them on all sides so if you have small kids i'm sure they'll enjoy these if we look over here you have window controls door controls lock and unlock uh, have folding mirrors so you get quite a few different things in the interior so the car also features for the money, I think it's nice to have 360 degree view when parking. And 
you also have the front view when going slow. One critique that this car or a lot of the Chinese brands have had is their driving assistance, driving aids hasn't been the, the best ones and that they have had quite a few annoying noises and beeps uh, when you're driving at slow speeds, like here, when you're shutting off the car, it, it gives a noise. Um, that is something that you have to test out uh, yourself on a driving experience at the dealerships and see if you can live with it. Uh, I think for the money, um, I think it's easy to live with, uh, but that's my take on it. If we look at the seating position, so I'm 196 and I have lowered the car to its lowest position and my driving position. And I got quite a bit of headroom, no problems there. Leg room is no problem either. And uh, when I look to the side, I actually look out the car and not into the B pillar. So the seating position is actually fairly well. The rear window, as you can see here, is fairly small. So the visibility of the back is not the best, uh, but uh, I have seen worse, um, but uh, definitely not the best. You have a full panoramic sunroof. Let me see if I can open the curtain here so we can have a look. So you can see here that it opens fully. So definitely not a thing you find in a car usually in this budget. So in the rear we have a flat floor. You have a regular USB and a USB-C. Again, some aircon vents. The door is a similar design, so I haven't moved the seating position in front of me and I actually have quite a bit of leg room. If we change to the different view. So here you can see that my legs are quite high extended, so you, you don't have a lot of thigh support. But headroom, it's decent, 196, so I am on the taller side and my hair is barely touching the ceiling. But uh, I could move a bit down in the seat and I'll be perfectly fine for a longer trip. And the same wavy design here, muscle fibers or what it should be, uh, goes back here as well in the back seats. You have some small ambient lighting here and this funny looking door handle. But uh, definitely not a bad seating position. So the rear trunk, quite a decent spacious here. You have the electronics down here in the bottom and uh, you can definitely have groceries and you can fold the seats so you have more room for luggage. If you're going on a longer trip, it folds two, three split. It's not the biggest boot space, but definitely uh, a decent one for the money. It's an electric tailgate and uh, it's fairly easy to put things in the back. There's a, a straight loading edge. So overall here is my perspective of the Addo 3, a decent entry-level budget SUV and that comes packed with a ton of options. So for a first EV or perhaps a budget EV, you just want to test it out. I think this is a good purchase. How the quality of the car is, it feels good. Uh, everything is sturdy. Everything looks to be well made. How it will last over the years, I'm not sure. I can't vouch for that because it is a Chinese car that has only been in Europe for one and a half years or so. Uh, so time will tell how our weather uh, does to these cars. Um, but overall, I think for the money, you get a lot of car and uh, I would recommend it uh, if you're looking for a car within this budget. It's definitely worth a while, worth your time to check it out.
but yeah there's a ton of these chinese brands on the market these days so this is just one among the others uh, but worth to have a look at thank you for watching like and subscribe for more content like this see you next time bye